How you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, um, how'd you do it again? Um, I got a ride for my sister. What do you mean, we picked you up at? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's sure. actually leaving outside. Oh, okay. Well, glad to see you here today. Um, my name is Anthony Edwards, and I'll be a social worker today. Um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about confidentiality. Do you know what that is? But basically, confidentiality states that if you say anything, oh, everything you said to me, you stay to you. If, uh, if you say that you're going to hurt yourself or others, I will report that to my supervisor. Um, that's basically it. Okay. Okay. So what are you doing today? Um, I'm just kind of having some trouble figuring out if I'm going to leave my husband or not yeah. because he um, he's pretty abusive, but I'm concerned for my son. And he's just starting kindergarten now, and I don't know what's better for him. If we stay together and unhappy, or... Okay, so you're basically just worried about your son, you, you and your son's safety with being with your husband and everybody? Yeah. Okay. Want, you do want to leave him or you want to work things out? You know, we've been together for a long time and I feel like maybe it's time to move on. And if it wasn't for my son, we would definitely not be together. So, I understand that you're, you're keeping things together because of your son. So, do you want to like, work on things or counseling with your husband? Or? He wouldn't be willing to come in. Why, why do you think that? Because I've talked to him about it before and then he just gets upset. And when he gets angry, he gets abusive. Yeah. Is that what the problem is going on in the home? He's abusive. Mm -hmm. How long has this been going on? Um, I don't even know as long as I can remember. We've been married for 15 years. And out of that, I would say probably at least 12 of the years. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, so, how do you feel? How do you feel with your husband? I mean, if it isn't an accident too much. No, it's okay. Um, that's why I'm here. I, I feel like maybe I'm used to it because it's been going on for so long. And my dad was always abusive to my mom, and I'm, it's all I've seen. That's what it is. Um, but it's the way he talks to me that probably bothers me more. Because he always hits me and pushes me around. And I think I'm less accepting of him when he calls me like slut and hoe and fat ass and all these things because it just bothers me. So you're kind of used to saying that you're kind of used to it, basically, because you've been through it all your life and you've seen it all your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's not right, but um, I like to tell you, uh, would like to see, um, uh, what do you like? What can I? What do you think I can do for you, or how do you think I can help you? What would be the best way I can help you? Well, I mean, probably help me decide. Like, what are my options in terms of if I do stay or I do leave, and. Um, custody issues. I really don't know anything about what happens with the law after someone leaves. If I go to a shelter, I mean, what happens? Okay. Do you work or anything? I'm not allowed to work. You're not allowed to work? I'm actually not even supposed to be here. When was the last time you did work? Um, probably about 20 years ago. Wow. What kind of work are you doing there? Um, I used to be a nurse. Okay. Well, so are you still qualified to be a nurse? Um, yeah, I mean, I still have my certificate and everything, but... We would like you to stay, continue to have custody of your son if you do choose to leave with, uh, leave your husband, but you say that mm -hmm. there's no possible way that you would come in for counseling or anything? I get scared just thinking about it, because he really, he doesn't want anyone to know our problems. It's supposed to be personal between a man and a wife, you know. Well, if it's okay with you, I have an exercise that I would like to try out where... I would play, well, you would play your husband and I would play you and we would act out a good scenario and a bad scenario with you asking him or approaching him about the situation and how you feel about him putting his hands on you and that you would like to seek uh, seek therapy or counseling. Okay. We're going to do a good and, a good and bad scenario. Is that, <laughs> so is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, where, where would like a setting be like that would be like more comfortable or suitable for you? Well, probably, I don't, I want to say at the dinner table, but if it was just the two of us, like, if my son was out for the night okay. at a friend's house. Okay, so you wouldn't want your son to be around? No, so in case things did get heated. Okay, no problem. Um, well, I like to get started. Uh, you will play your husband, and I would approach you, and I want you to act out 
how how extreme you think he might get by me approaching you, telling you that you don't like the abuse and like you do want to work on things just because of the son and the fact that you have a son together. But I mean, you know your husband more than I do, so just act out how you how extreme you think he will get. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Uh, <laughs> well, honey. Um, uh, we've been together 20 years plus. Um, I just wanted to know, I just wanted to tell you that uh, the abuse is really killing me and I don't really like it. And it's really hurting me and my son and I would like to just, I would like to receive counseling, we'll go to counseling with you. And counseling? Yes. First of all, I don't abuse you, you stupid bitch. Wow. Yeah. You, you want to ask me again? Bring me as. Yeah. There's no abuse going on here. It's all in your head. Okay, but I feel as You though, need to shut up. I feel as though things are getting a little heated between me and you, and I, I appreciate you, and I know... If Stop you like with the blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Shut up and go do the dishes. We're not going to counseling, and that's it. Like, again, I do, I do appreciate your opinion, and I just ask that you support me in something that I care strongly about, and I want this marriage to work and be safe for the both of us. I do want to work things out, so. That's so you don't feel safe? No, I do not. Well, you should. I mean, I give you a home. I give you everything you could ask for. I mean, what more do you want? I would like to work on things more. How so? On our relationship and with our son and then making sure everything's in a stable environment. I think we're pretty stable. I mean, all the bills are paid every month. I give you food. You live here rent-free. I mean, I think things are pretty good. Okay, but uh, again, everything can be worked on more, and I just would like for your support and understanding and the fact that we are married, we do love each other, and we do have a son, and just for his sake, I just want to work on things more by going to counseling. Well, I don't think we need counseling, and that's the end of that. Okay, well, I like to stop right here. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know it seems like extreme. No, nah, it was extreme. But he, that's, that's actually him being light, so... Okay, well, I would like to try a good version now. Okay. That would be possible. You think that would be okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I would love if this happened. <laughs> okay, well, honey, um, for the last past 20 years, um, uh, we have been having difficulties in our relationship with abuse and the way you talk to me and treat me, and I just, nah, I'm not liking it anymore. And I would like for us to go to counseling and work on things for our relationship and our son because he shouldn't have to live around this and I do love you and I just want your support and understanding and the fact that we I want us to work on our relationship. Um, I do want us to seek counseling and I want to know if you'll be willing to join us. Okay and why do you feel like, why do you feel that way? I thought you loved me, I thought we were happy. I do love you and I am happy but I just don't like the abuse, the, the physical and the mental abuse. I just don't like it. What do you mean mental? I mean, I hit you sometimes, but that's only when I get drunk. Okay, but I'm talking about when you, you, when you say cruel things, stuff like that. So, I just want all that to stop, and I don't see it stopping. I don't think you see what you're doing is wrong, so I would like to get your support and help and understand and, and go to counseling together. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I was hurting you. I mean, you know how it is. My parents are always fighting, and I just think it's okay. And I know I get mad at you sometimes, but I don't want you to leave me, and I love you. And if this counseling thing is really what you want to save our family, then we'll do it. Okay. So, I'll like to stop right there. That's pretty good. Yeah. But you don't feel as though that would be like, and then, no. exactly, well, why not? I don't know. <laughs> because every time I try to talk about something, he just freaks out. I mean, you know, and then I think, well, maybe I'll wait till he's drunk, because then he'll want to listen more. But instead, he just gets mad and wants to hit me even more. Why do you think? Why do you think him being drunk is a more approachable, makes him more approachable? Because he's not so uptight. When he gets a few drinks in him, he gets relaxed. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, understandable. So, um, how would you, well, do you want to, like, would you feel as though, would you feel if I contacted him about coming in, do you think he would be? No. <coughs> no. Why do you say no? Because he would get really angry that I'm here and then he would just hit me. That's not a good so how would we go about it? How would you think we should go about it? If you don't want to approach him, if you think he would say no, and if I shouldn't call, so what would, what do you think would be the best? Uh... Um, probably 
someone in my family to talk to him, like maybe my sister or even his brother, if I could get him on board with it and realize it, that there, there's going to be problems in the family, maybe he could talk to my husband and get him to want to go. Is that like your support system? Like, you yeah. have it on both sides of the family? Yeah. Do you all see what's going on? They do, but again, I feel like they don't want to cross lines, you know. I mean, but I understand that. So, who do you have that you can, like, if, if things didn't work out and you would want to stay somewhere, do you have anyone on your side of the family or a relationship strong with someone on this side that you can possibly stay with you on side? The only person I have is my sister. My parents are tired of the abuse and they think it's, you know, it's bullshit. So, they're just done with it. They think that it's my fault. Why do I stay? What about, what about an intervention? An intervention with this side of the family that, that, that doesn't agree with what goes on. Even though they might not want to put their input, but you know they feel like it isn't right what it's going to. And then your family is all come together. And this, I mean, it doesn't even have to, well, we don't have to say it's your idea. We have to say that it's the family's idea. And they wanted to come together and say, hey, what's going on? It's the right thing. They love you and they just want to uh, think you better between you and your husband because of this side. Do you think an intervention would be your best? Uh, I mean, but what if he says no? What, does he have to say yes or how does that work? In an intervention, sometimes you know, there is no yes or no. You can just, every, all the family members can just pop up at your house and I can be invited. I actually wouldn't mind that because I feel like if his family, everybody's around you, maybe he would feel like maybe I can't act like you normally would. Mm -hmm. so, so maybe that'd be a good idea. That'd be an alternative that you would agree with? Yeah. Okay, well, I would like for you uh, to go out and ask other family members would they be a possible uh, party to the intervention? Would that be something you would uh, okay with doing? Okay, well, I would like to set up another meeting same time next week if it's okay with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. To talk about who you contacted and how did it go. So same time next week? Yeah. Oh no, I would still want to reflect on everything we talked about. Okay. Uh, so we, we did basically a lot today. I appreciate your strong will and determination of really working on your marriage you know, for the sake of your child and really wanting to work things out. Um, I see that you really have a really a strong will and like you, know, you do have a lot of fighting and I do appreciate you like that. Um, so same time next week. Uh, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. This is the only time I really have because he's at work, so this works great. Perfect. Okay. And, and please, and, oh, Thank you. I so bad. Shh.